Hello Aquarius, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to tap into what's going on currently within your love life. This reading is for every Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also, if you are a cross watcher, please switch the energies around as needed, okay? I also want to thank each and every one of you guys that have been donating to our channel. I really appreciate it and I want to thank you from the bottom to the top of my heart. Thank you so much. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what's going on currently in your love life is the world card, okay? So you guys are closing out cycles and starting a new cycle in your life. You're about to be very fulfilled. You're about to feel very complete, especially within your love life, okay? For some of you, I see marriage coming in for you. Okay, I see marriage coming in and I feel as though you are very deserving of it. Okay, I also feel as though um, there is someone. I see you guys getting married in the future. Okay, within about the next two years, I see you getting married now. That doesn't mean that the new person or whoever is in your life well, I'll just say the new person, if you're not already with someone, it doesn't mean that it's going to take them two years to come in. I'm just saying that within two years, a lot of you will be married, okay? It's going to be to someone that is very kind, someone that um, is very emotionally fulfilling. This person is very stable within their finances. I see you getting a new home together, okay? There's going to be a lot of stability here. They're also very family oriented, okay? But I feel as though there's someone that's going to try to get you to juggle or to cheat on this person that comes into your life if they're not there already, okay? I also see um, there's definitely marriage. It's going to be a very loving union, very loving but see there's going to be people that are not on your level that's going to try to come in and cause confusion okay so there are other options that are interested in you these other options a lot of them are not financially stable i feel like they will be some of these options will be people from your past for others of you it may be new people but it's almost like you'll be meeting the same spirit in a different body, okay? And I feel like you'll be tested. And it's going to be in regards to your loyalty regarding this new person that has come into your life or someone um, that you're going to be meeting in the future if they're not already in your life, okay? But I see you guys moving on from other options. I feel like you're not going to fall for it because this person that comes in, they're going to be very emotionally fulfilling. But see, like I said, you're going to have other people that are going to try to come in and try to talk to you or or something like that. They may try to get you to come and see them. They may want to come and see you, Okay? But I feel like you guys are moving on from anyone that causes confusion in your life. You're not going to be putting in a lot of energy toward them. Yeah, see, look, with this seven of swords under the empress, whether you're male or female, I feel like someone's going to try to get you to cheat on this person that comes into your life. They're going to try to get you to cheat or be deceptive. Okay. Oh, my goodness. There's also someone that's obsessed with you, very obsessed with you. I feel like it's someone from your past <clears throat> that was in and out of your life. Someone that you don't trust. You don't look at this person the same anymore. They're going to try to cause conflict or they're going to try to cause you to cheat. It's like they're going to try to interfere with your marriage or with your relationship. But I feel like it's not going to work because you guys, whoever this past person is, you don't even look at them the same anymore anyway. But they're obsessed with you. And they're very attached to you 
on an emotional standpoint. For some of you, this past person that's obsessed with you, it could be a water sign, a Capricorn. For some of you, a fire sign, an air sign. Earth, Pisces, Taurus, a water sign. I think I said that already. But yeah, I feel like this person is burdened. They're going to be burdened by you getting married or burdened by, burdened by your new beginning. But I feel like you guys are going to be moving forward anyway. All right. I see you holding back from that person. This is crazy. It's really weird energy. Someone, you're going to have someone new that comes into your life if you haven't met them already. Some of you may have already met this person. It will result in marriage. You're going to get married to this person. But there's someone from your past that I feel like is going to try to come in and get you to cheat. And for some of you, they only want sex. They're very obsessed with you um, on a sexual level. So keep that in mind that there's going to be someone that tries to get you caught up. I don't like it. And it's someone you've been avoiding or you will be avoiding this person. I don't like this. I don't like it. They're jealous. There's someone that's jealous of your new beginning. They're burdened. And they want to cause problems. My goodness. Ooh. This, this is ridiculous. So, yeah, you guys are closing out cycles. You're starting a new cycle. There's something new coming in for you. And you're going to feel complete, okay, with this new beginning. Let's see what else comes out. Give me more, Holy Spirit. What else is going on with Aquarius's love life currently? What is going on currently, Spirit, with Aquarius's love life? Two more shuffles. Someone definitely feels left out in the cold by you. You may have ghosted this person or you're cold toward them. Um, like you abandon them or something like that. They may have done that to you, but you guys have learned a lot of lessons. See, look, you walked away from someone because you gained clarity. You know what it is that you want. You realize this person was a burden. So you're definitely closing out cycles. You're walking into something better. Okay. Give me more Holy Spirit with what's going on currently in Aquarius's love life. What is going on currently? You guys are healing. You're finding peace. Some of you um, have been praying a lot, okay? Or you've been going within spiritually. You guys are finding peace. You're finding balance in your life. We've pulled three cards and you have two major arcanas. You've learned a huge lesson. You're also not overextending yourself. I feel like before um, you may have over overextended when it came to people that you were or someone that you were attached to emotionally or dealing with emotionally, but you're healing. You're coming off as almost angelic. You're finding peace. This ending will bring peace. Wow. Give me more with what's going on currently in Aquarius's love life. Thank you. Someone wants to talk to you. Okay. A new love offer or someone wants to offer love to you. But see, this is someone you ended things with. So someone you ended things with want to talk to you. Someone that you abandoned or you ghosted them or you left them out in the cold. You're done with them. Like you know the truth about them. You know they're a burden. They're going to be rushing back in out of nowhere, wanting your love. For some of you, they're pissed off that you ended things. And I apologize that past energy is coming out, guys. But, you know, we are in the pre-shadow of Mercury retrograde. So, or, you know, so past energy is going to come out. It's almost inevitable. But you guys are walking away from anything that doesn't serve you. But there's someone that wants to come in and offer you love. This person doesn't even have a lot to offer you. Okay, I feel like it's someone from your past, but you're walking into something better. 
Some of you have already found better. For others of you, you're going to find it. So you're going to have um, a new love that's going to result in marriage. And you're also going to have this past person that has this itty bitty love offer that they want to extend to you. Where, you know, like I said, this person doesn't even have a lot to offer you. Especially when it comes to money. All they can give you is love, really. Hmm, that's interesting. Very interesting. Let me clarify one more card. Give me more about temperance. Why is temperance here? Okay. So we have the page of um, wands. At the bottom of the deck, we have the four of wands. So, yeah, I told you guys before, there's somebody coming into your life and it's going to result in marriage. I see you get someone is going to want to propose to you. This person, even the way that they speak, and this is the new person or someone new that's coming into your life. It's not that toxic, pat, obsessed past person. This is someone that um, is going to be even peaceful with the way that they speak to you. This person is going to, they're, they're going to want marriage. Wow. You're going to bring this person a lot of peace and they're going to bring you a lot of peace. Also, any of you that are pr praying, your prayers are being heard. Okay. Your prayers are being heard. But I see marriage for you, Aquarius. Marriage is in your future. Okay. Wow. Okay. So Aquarius and or cross watchers, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.